right so Taliode champs and what do we got here a Dell laptop and I actually don't know what it is if we have a look at the side here yes it is an Inspiron 14 so 7000 laptop Inspiron 14 7000 silver 14.5 QHD display 1165 G7 16 gigs of memory and Nvidia graphics I don't know what kind of Nvidia graphics and we'll have to have a look at what sort of wireless that has too so if you didn't know, the rule here at Talio Tech is, if it's new, I unbox it. I mean, if it's been opened before, I don't care. I will unbox this sucker here. All right, so these are aimed at the business user. So we can see here we do have, should be like a 65 watt charger. It's a small power brick there. And indeed, checking that it is 65 watts. Barrel charger, interesting, okay, so it's not USB-C, so if you wanted USB-C, you'll be disappointed there, but it is a barrel charger. Got this nasty stuff that teenagers love to eat, and of course, Australian power cord here. I like how these are packaged, they're very economical, uh, very eco-friendly. Oh. So let's pull out this laptop. We have some, you know, literature, some manuals there. Um, yeah, I think we can get these on, you know, PDFs or something now. I don't think we need these anymore, but whatever. Now, first thing I notice is it's pretty light for a 14 incher. It's a nice weight to it. Let's open that sucker up. Now it is a premium metal build, but I don't think it's CNC machined. Um, we do have a privacy shutter, yes. We do have the privacy shutter up the top. So here, you know, webcam, you have a privacy shutter. And that's the thing about business laptops. They do have these privacy shutters. I think every laptop should have that now. But of course, there, you can see here, the new i7s, NVIDIA graphics. So that's cool. And what are they saying? QHD 16 by 10. Whoa, baby, baby, baby. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. 16 by 10 for the business user. This is like, I'm loving that. It feels very light, looks premium, it looks nice. What it also says here is Thunderbolt 4, so awesome. So you know what I'm gonna do with my review? Of course, I'm gonna whack a 3090 on it. Of course, that's what you do. And Dell Connect, it's ultra light and privacy shutter, which every business laptop should have. It looks like it's got some good speakers. I think we can listen to those. Over here is the power and fingerprint. So this is fingerprint and power here. Um, nice, nice keyboard. I've got to say, overall, the build quality is very nice. If you're a business person and yeah, You'll be very happy getting this thing, especially with Thunderbolt 4, and you can whack an GPU on it. And of course, you can game at work. Of course, that's what you do. So on the left-hand side, I'll be interested to see if I can actually power it through that Thunderbolt 4. You should be able to, or it shouldn't be Thunderbolt 4. So that will be very interesting. So what we have is the barrel connector, HDMI. I don't know what that is. That looks like USB 2.0. And yes, the Thunderbolt 4. On the left-hand side, micro SD. We have a combination audio jack and probably another USB 2. I'll have to check. There might be three, but they're not color coded. So it's hard to tell. All right, so this sucker here is 65 watts. Which side we're going on? 65 watts. We'll plug it in this side. See if we get some power. Oh yes, yes, we have some power. Okay, so when I plug it in through Thunderbolt, it does indeed charge, but it will charge slower not sure because this is 65 watts so maybe it can only take a certain amount of wattage this thunderbolt 4 but what it says here is you plugged in a lower wattage um, usb-c device and it won't power your system and it won't perform at peak performance there so we'll just continue at least we're getting power through usb-c so that is good okay so what i'll say here is to come out here in this studio and to get the wi-fi to connect simply and easily it's got good wi-fi and this is right at the back of my house. Oh, oh, all right. I survived Cortana. Sign up. Now, anyway, what we can see here is it's saying I'm not getting full power because I have USB-C. 
So the question is going to be asked, why do we have this barrel connector instead of USB-C? I think it's legacy. I think this is a business product and a lot of businesses will have docks, etc. And they probably have this barrel charger on them. So a lot of enterprises will still use this. And of course, you can still charge at USB-C, but you're not getting the full amount of power. So I'll just plug this in. And we will test it with a Thunderbolt 4 hub and we'll test, you know, a 3090 on this. I do not know what graphics card it's got. So let's have a look. It's going to be MX something. So I'm guessing MX350. Let's see if I'm right. What have we got here? Display. MX350! Yay! Okay, 65 watt package. That's what you'd expect. I mean, you know, no prizes for guessing that really. But it looks nice. And look how quality it is. It looks really good. If your boss gave you this, you'd be very happy. That display looks really nice. QHD display. All right, so let's see how bright it is. And it is matte too. So that is cool. Nice. That really looks nice, that display. I like it. Not many reflections. Um, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Now, I did notice when I signed in that the speakers sounded really good. So I'll just test the speakers quickly here. I'm not going to test the CPU and GPU at the moment. I'll save that for my full review. I'll do a gaming review. And as I said, I'll whack a 3090 on here as well. I've done many videos on this CPU, the 1165G7 quad core, you know, sort of 15 watt part here. It can be configured to 28 watts. Intel XE graphics, so good graphics. And of course, you've got NVIDIA graphics as well. So be interested to see how it actually does game but you know i've tested that a million times i've just got to really check out the thermals for the review and of course when you t test the sound you always just want to do boardwalk shuffle because every time i see this video i just think of gta 5 and going down the pier yeah gta pier baby sounds all right doesn't it Yeah, so it sounds pretty good. The display looks good, so nothing to complain about here. Stay tuned for my full review of this thing. It looks really good. 16 by 10. Wow, that's got me really pumped. I'm loving that everybody's going to 16 by 10. Look at it. It looks so much bigger because it's 16 by 10. Look at that. Beautiful. I love it. So stay tuned for my full review. Also have something else to unbox, so stay tuned for that. Tally ho.